Hello friends, welcome to Doubt Forum. In this question, we are asked to find the voltage of point A minus the voltage at point B. So the question is the potential difference VA minus VB between the points A and B in the given figure is this is the figure given and the four options are here. As we can see that this question is based on the Kirchhoff second law. The other name is Kirchhoff's voltage law and according to this law, the algebraic sum of all the voltage drop in any closed circuit is equal to the zero. So we have to take the algebraic sum of voltage drops across each and every component connected in a closed loop. So to understand it better, let me create a circuit. Suppose this is a voltage source and there is a resistor connected. Then there is another voltage source another resistor and it is connected like this and here a current I suppose is flowing in this direction so this is the current I and if you want to apply the voltage law in this circuit the first thing is that choose a direction once we choose the direction we will keep that direction unchanged until the equation is completed because if in the middle we change the direction the algebraic sum will not be equal to the zero. The second thing is that we have to mark the polarity of each voltage correctly. To understand the polarity part, just remember one thing that whenever we move from lower potential to higher potential, we will be marking it as the positive voltage. On the other hand, whenever we move from higher potential to lower potential, we will mark that as the negative voltage we can take the otherwise also but whatever you take just keep that for the whole circuit analysis here i will be marking positive voltage which is from if we move from lower potential to higher potential and the negative if we move from higher potential to lower potential so let's mark out the voltage first suppose this is a voltage source of v1 here the resistor is r1 this is voltage source V2 and the resistor is of R2 ohm. If you want to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law in this circuit, we have to choose a direction first. So let's the direction is clockwise. So if we are moving in this direction, so this would be our direction of analyzing each and every element connected in this closed loop. If we start from this battery, suppose we are starting from this point. So if we start from this point, we will take a round and we will come back to this point again. So as we moving in a clockwise direction, what we will seeing, we are seeing that here the potential is incre increasing from minus to plus. This is the minus plate of battery and this is the positive plate. So here the potential is increasing from minus to plus. So the voltage V1 I will be taking as positive. So this would be V1 which is positive in nature and when we move further in clockwise direction the current is entering from this point and leaving from this point so this would be at higher potential and this would be at lower potential so the voltage across r1 would be of negative in sign because i have told you that whenever we move from higher potential to lower potential we will consider that voltage to be the negative so the voltage across this r1 would be of negative and that voltage would be equal to I into R1 which is the product of current flowing and the resistance connected. So this would be of negative sign here minus I into R1. Further as we move in the clockwise we can see that as we move from this point to this point the voltage is further decreasing. This is the positive plate this is the negative plate. So here the voltage is decreasing we are moving from positive potential to negative potential. So whenever we move from positive potential to negative potential, the voltage across that element would be of negative in nature. So this V2 we are taking, we will be taking as negative. So this would be minus V2. And as we move further in this closed loop, so from this point to this point, as we can see that the current is flowing like this, so current would be moving like this. So from this point the current is entering, so this would be positive. And from this point current is leaving the resistance, 
this would be negative so we are moving from positive potential to negative potential so whenever we move from positive potential to negative potential the voltage across that element we always take it as negative so the voltage across r2 would be negative and that would be equal to i into r2 so this would be minus i into r2 so this is the algebraic sum of all the voltages across the different elements connected in a closed loop so according to kirchhoff second law this voltage is equal to zero so this is how we can apply the voltage law in any given circuit so now move moving back to the question in this question there is a point va and there is another point vb and in between a 2 ohm and 1 ohm resistors are connected and also a voltage source of 3 volt is also there a current of 2 ampere is also flowing in the circuit so let me redraw this circuit just to make you feel more comfortable here this is there is a voltage va so this is va then there is a resistor of 2 ohm connected in between there is a voltage source of 3 ohm 3 volt sorry then there is a resistor of 1 ohm then there is a voltage source of vb is connected like this because all the voltages are with respect to ground so this voltage va is respect to ground so if this is ground this vb is also respect to the ground so we can see that these two terminals are interconnected so all we can do we can also join these two elements so this way we can find a closed loop just removing the earth part so this is a closed loop in this closed loop a current of 2 ampere is flowing in this direction it is given in the in this circuit so the current 2 ampere is flowing in this way the voltage across this voltage source is 3 volt and the polarity is also given we are asked to find the va minus vb to find that all we need to do is to apply the voltage law in this circuit and when we apply the voltage law so first thing is to choose a direction and the second thing is choose the polarity of the voltages so here again we are choosing a clockwise direction so we will be moving like this so let's start from this point as we move in a clockwise direction here we can see that this is the negative plate and this is the positive plate so first thing is that we are moving from lower potential to higher potential whenever we move from lower potential to higher potential always take that voltage as positive so here va would be positive so this would be va then we will be moving across this resistor of value 2 ohm it is given in the question and this resistor is of 1 ohm current is entering from this point and leaving from this point so this would be at positive potential this would be at negative potential so here the decrease in potential is taking place so whenever there is a decrease in potential we take that voltage as negative so the voltage across this 2 ohm would be of negative in nature and that would be equal to 2 ohm into 2 ampere so that is minus 4 volt as we move further in clockwise direction we can see that this battery is connected in such a way that we find the positive plate first and then the negative plate because we are moving in a clockwise direction so here also the decrease in potential is taking place so whenever the potential difference is negative or decreasing we always take that voltage as the negative one so this 3 volt would be of negative so this would be minus 3 again the current is entering from this point and leaving from this point so this would be positive this would be negative so the voltage drop across this resistor would be of negative in nature and that is equal to the current flowing into the multiplication of the resistor so 2 ampere is the current which is flowing through this resistor and 1 ohm is the value of resistor so the total voltage drop would be 2 into 1 that is 2 volt further as we move in this circuit in clockwise direction we can see that first we find the positive plate then the negative plate so here also the voltage is decreasing because we are finding the positive plate first then negative plate and we are moving like this so the voltage is decreasing so whenever there is a decrease in voltage we always take the, that voltage as negative 
so the value of vb would be minus vb so this is the algebraic sum of the voltage drops across the different elements connected in that closed loop and according to Kirchhoff's second law this algebraic sum is always equal to zero as we know that in the question we are asked to find va minus vb so we will be taking va minus vb one side and we are sending the rest equation to the other side of equal so this will be equal to va minus vb equal to these minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 and minus 2 would become plus 3 plus 2 and plus 4 plus 3 and plus 2 so this va minus vb equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 9 volt so the voltage difference or the va minus vb would be equal to the answer is 9 volt and if we match our answer with the options given so option number the d would be the correct one so thank you for watching if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye